I am making these players run 10,000 blocks, and the last player to get to the finish is banned from the server. All you need to do is follow this path, 3, 2, 1, go. Immediately, everyone starts sprinting, except for one player, who came up with a very unique tactic. My strategy is to barely sprint. This will conserve my hunger as much as I can. This is Crimson. He is trying to conserve hunger by not sprinting. And while that is not the best of decisions, Crimson somehow started convincing the other players to do exactly the same. Oh yeah, when you're jumping, don't sprint. There's no point. Yeah, I'm, I'm conserving as much as I can here. When they're out of hunger, we'll be there. After the start, I built a bridge, only one block wide. Everyone had to cross it without getting pushed off. That's a tightrope. Oh, whoa, geez. whoa, someone almost pushed me off. Holy. There are zero checkpoints in this race. If anyone ever dies, you respawn back at the start. If someone falls off, I feel so bad for you. Someone almost just knocked me off the thing. Oh my god. But some players started realizing a massive mistake I made. Wait, is, is fall damage disabled? Yeah, fall damage is off. <laughs> I just fell, I just fell very far. And after quickly testing it myself, I did not think full damage was enabled either. But when I paused the race to re-enable full damage, I forgot to give everyone blindness. So while I was scrambling around with the server settings, Dopey and TN had just enough time to see something that would give them a big advantage. I'm going to risk it, because I guarantee other people are just going to stick to the path. As soon as I unpaused the game, Derpy attempted a dangerous move. Move. He convinced his friends to skip a part of the race, and because everyone was so spread out, no one noticed them running away. I take the lead! <laughs> but at that exact moment, everyone started noticing a problem. You see, I only gave each player five bread. You need six bread to make it through the race without draining your hunger. Oh no, I lost one and a half hunger hurts already. I don't see food, it's probably over here. So while Derpy and his friends were winning the race, do you really think they would stay at the front forever. Climb to the top. This is the climb up this waterfall, I think. The only way to progress was to climb the mountain. It may look like it's completely impossible to reach the top, but looking closely, you can see there are stone slabs and stairs that make a hidden pathway up. Oh, that's not good, Failed. Good thing we have food up here. I only took half a heart. By the time Derpy got to the top, everyone else had reached the bottom, apart from two players. Crimson and Andrew were still conserving hunger. They were very far behind. Meanwhile, the path Derpy was following turned around, and a few other players had just climbed the mountain. If any of them happened to see Derpy running in the opposite direction, they could just leave the path to follow him and save lots of time. Did he just- did, it, did the path just turn around? I just hope other people don't see us going this way. Oh, there's people on the other side. Shh! Don't get seen, don't get seen. Hey guys! Hello. Oh, hey, Wolf. Did you see the food anywhere when we scaled? Because you said it would be at the top of the mountain. Before the race even started, I told everyone there would be food on the mountain. At the top of the mountain will be a pressure plate that spawns bread. And there is infinite food on top of the mountain. It is just located around here, all the way down here, up here, and over here. Then some people started to run out of food, which forced them to stop sprinting. Come on, just get, just show us the food already. My food's gone. On now. Let's hope it's right here. I have one left. I have no spin. I screwed, aren't I? This player was not able to sprint any further, and two more players were approaching close behind. Oh, I see a sign. I see a sign. Oh, you do? Food? Free food! Yes! Go forward until you find the start of the maze. There's a maze down here. And just ahead of them was a maze. A very, very big maze. But before anyone even got there, they had to descend a cliff without dying. There's water over here. I might use it to scale down. I just scaled to the left. Oh, oh I almost died. That would have been awful. That maze is massive. Oh my god. Oh, it's a maze. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a maze. Oh no. At the start of the maze was a sign telling you to find the center. Now you may be thinking, can't the players just jump over the leaves? Yes. But no. I placed invisible barrier blocks to stop players from jumping over. And because everyone is in adventure mode, they are not able to break blocks either. Just following Derpy very closely. Crack the lock. We gotta get a ton of different combinations. In the middle of the maze is a puzzle. This is a redstone combo lock, and it has over 1,000 combinations. Only one combination opens this trapdoor. Isn't that supposed to be a hint? Or s 
I'm doing binary strat. I'm going to check the maze, see if there's signs anywhere. Because Derpy and his friends were taking so long to find the solution, almost everyone else caught up, and to keep their advantage, they needed to stay ahead. Time was running out. Then a player by the name of Slime came up with a genius strategy. To open the trapdoor, you need to flick the levers in a specific order, but no one knew what levers to activate, and not a single lever can be wrong. I can check the back of it real quick. Slime decided to go around the wall so he could see the redstone. Since the redstone was in plain sight, you could easily figure out how to open the trapdoor. Oh, okay, there is, there's, there's, wait, 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 I can, I can help you, I can help you. Wait, wait, listen, 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 okay. The furthest right, the one furthest on the right, flick that one. How do you know this? Unfortunately, Slime is not very good at redstone. In fact, Slime is terrible at redstone, as he then told everyone else to do the exact opposite of what they were meant to do. This trapdoor's not open. Oh, no, no, it's because it's you've messed up a few of them. Didn't work. Okay, and then unflick everything else. Let me go take a look at it. No, Wolf, stop flicking them. Read it from right to left. I don't know which way is- Time was running out, while Crimson and Andrew were slowly approaching. Wow, look at the view. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's insane. Back at the maze, Derpy was now looking at the redstone. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 flick off. Um, the redstone torches, so... Soon enough, they cracked the combo lock, and the trap door opened. Yes, go! Oh. Go down! I was in first, by the way, just want to point that out, and I just gave up my lead to help the group. Out of the dirt tunnel was a platform, with a sign that tells you to follow the river. But to make it more difficult, I added obstacles to slow everyone down. I added a pressure plate to spawn boats, and soon enough, everyone was back in the race. But just before everyone got to the first obstacle, something very bad happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go the other way, go the other way. One of the players saw the magma and was a little scared by it. So frightened by the magma, he thought it was not even part of the race. This player somehow decided that red sand was an indication of where to go. You go follow the red sand up there. The red sand? Why follow the red sand? The other side has a bunch of magma on it. This river goes in a complete circle, and in the middle is an island. And on this island is a path that leads to the end of the race. The players were meant to start the path over here, but they accidentally skipped the river entirely. Oh, everyone's going this way. I might be screwed. I was in first place. What am I doing? I'm just following the crowd. Okay, that's where I'll hop in. Thank you, Phantom. You're welcome, Derby. Go, 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 Phantom. So there were eight players. Slime was leading half of them along a path, and the other four were in boats. Then Slime made a very silly mistake. He tried to skip another part of the race, but ended up going the wrong way and losing progress. And because no one knew what was happening, everyone followed him. After going the wrong way... Go right! Right, Phantom! Right, Phantom! I saw a thing. No, they're coming this way. What? And the wrong way... Right, right. Wait, no, left. Go on the left. On the left. And the wrong way... Where are we going? This is the way we just went. Eventually, they went the right way. Finally, the river had been completed. All the players needed to do was follow this path to the finish line. However, Crimson and Andrew had just got to the maze. Oh. Oh, we wasted so much time and hunger. Find the middle of the maze. Uh, I might be out here, guys. Crimson and Andrew were way behind. Luckily for them, all the other players were nearby. If Crimson or Andrew just happened to see the other players, they could easily catch up. That did not happen, though, and everyone else continued sprinting. As it turns out, this one player got really lucky. He found the end part of the race and tried telling everyone else. Guys, 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 up here, up here. I was right, it's up the mountain, guys. Guys, come up here. But because this player was too far away, no one could hear him. Five minutes later, everyone else arrives. At the end of the path was a sign, and a dispenser that gives you a compass. This compass points directly to the finish line. What these ten players did not know is that the end of the race is also the start of the race. Yes, this whole time, the start line was also the finish line. Then Andrew accidentally died. They entered this water cave. This is not looking too good for for us. We're gonna, I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna, I'm drowning. Oh, nah, bro. Well, I, uh, yeah, I've lost. That's it. Oh, no, bro. Are you kidding me? Remember how I said there are zero checkpoints in this race, so Andrew respawned about 50 blocks away from the start line. Or at least that's what he thought. I can't believe that. Congratulations, Andrew. You are the first player to finish the race. Wait, what?
And it only took you 39 minutes. Are you sh Wait, no way. That's actually what just- I died with purpose. Eventually, everyone else got to the end. Oh my god. It's this- It's the- We could have been- We could have just been done. I feel like my legs are gonna break, even though I didn't actually walk. I don't think I'm last, which is fantastic. Definitely not first. Derpy died of full damage along the way. I'm going back to the start, boys! Derpy, this is the finish line. I will make it! I'm on my way! Which means, Crimson, you are the last player to complete the race, so I'm now going to ban you from the server. Honestly, I'm just here for fun. I don't really care if I lose or win.